Welcome back to the Frank and Lizzie Show. We are here at SWC, Innovating Advancing Wound Care. Now today, we're going to talk about a product, a breakthrough product that's changing wound care, and that's Merigen by ETS, Engineering Tissue Solution. So we have two guests today, and they're going to take us to the creation, why it's different, how it's changing this field, and the mechanism of action. So kick us off, Lizzie. Hi, Frank. How are you? I'm great. Uh, <laughs> so I have the honor of introducing our first guest for this episode. So it's Dr. Steve Young, who is the Chief Technology Officer for ETS. Welcome, Dr. Young. Thank you. Welcome. So we are going to hear it straight from the source today. Okay. Uh, let's get started. So we want to hear more about Miragen and what you call bioactive glass. Sure. So a, a question we get often is, why would you use... Uh, bioactive glass in wound care? And it's a reasonable question. Yeah. And originally, that's not what the intent was. Uh, I was working on a project during my PhD program uh, trying to make an internal bone splint for soldiers that were injured by IEDs. Mm -hmm. So this was for large segmental defects. But to grow bone over large distances, you have to have soft tissue blood vessels there to support the growth of those sure. cells or they won't survive. And during that development, we were very successful with coming up with new compositions of glass to support this, this program of growing bone over these long distances. Relooking at the problem, if you have an IED injury, you're also going to have a lot of soft tissue damage. Sure. And so instead of a rigid scaffold, like we had done for part of our program, we thought about what soft tissue would need, and we made a form factor that was flexible and um, looked very similar to the earliest stage of healing, which is a fiber clot. Okay. Wow. wow, so you started in the industry, in the bone industry. That's phenomenal. So how did you get into wound care? What problem were you trying to solve? Like I said, it, 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 bone and soft tissue, they're connective tissues. They heal by the same mechanism. Mm -hmm. They form a blood clot. From that clot, uh, the body sends cells, and the cells start that healing cascade. And so our job as materials people is to make things that the body can utilize in that healing process. And so Mirgen is a, a scaffold material. It's degradable. It's going to dissolve at about the same rate as a blood clot. And so it's, it has a useful life, and then it gets out of the way. Okay. It's not like something that's going to stick around for years, and the body grows around and eventually wants to treat as a foreign body. It's something that does its work, and then it gets out of the way. And so it like can't be rejected. We have not seen those things happen. Bioactive glasses have been used in orthopedics for uh, well over 30 years. Uh, millions of patients at this point have utilized that just in that application. Dentistry is probably tenfold that number. Okay. And bioactive glasses are actually also an ingredient in, in certain toothpastes to help with uh, sensitive teeth. And so bioactive glass is used in a wide variety of applications. Yeah. Wound care, we found a composition that was specific for the time, and we made a form factor that made sense for, for uh, people who need to move. I mean, you know, we don't expect people to just be in a, a, a position there for, for the time to heal. Uh -huh. It needs to work with the patient. We need to have something that the physicians can easily apply. And so that's, that's how we got to where we are today. Well, Liz, you know, the, the thing that I, I was getting hung up on was glass. Right. You know, bioactive glass yeah. in a wound. You think it would be like scratchy or cut the patient, right. Right? right? So where in the process of kind of like that healing cascade, you talked a little bit about the fibrin clot. So sure. what does the glass offer to the wound to help it with healing? Sure. So initially, the glass is, is the scaffold material. It's okay. a place for cells to go. Okay. Right? And so it, think about wound care. You start typically with a sharp debridement. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've got a little bleeding. Maybe you've got some body fluids there. You put the Miragen on that surface. The porosity of Miragen soaks in the wound fluids. It soaks in the cells. And now they have a place to go. And the earliest cells that we're going to soak up are things probably from blood. So things like platelets. And platelets actually have the capability to release growth factors like VEGF. Mm -hmm. And so immediately we've got the structure the body knows, plus we've got growth factors from the cells, and, and it just wow. it really aids in the healing process. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for explaining that kind of mechanism of action. Sure. I think we're going to take 
time to go on to our next guest who's going to explain kind of where we're currently at in the wound care world Wonderful. and then the next state. So thank you. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. And now we're back with our next guest. So I have the pleasure of introducing AJ Ford, the CEO of ETS. Welcome, AJ. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and congrats on the new position. Thank you. It's yeah. been Outstanding. It's a whirlwind. Uh, yeah. 100 days on the job already. Uh, what, a, what a phenomenal company, though, and what an exciting technology. Great. Well, we're excited to hear from you. Yeah. So welcome, AJ. And let's get into the dynamics of this <clears throat> advanced materials, biologicals. Tell us about what makes this product unique. Tell us about the composition and what makes it different from other materials. Yeah. So you heard from Steve already in terms of the scaffold effect. I think one thing that we didn't talk about is what happens as that scaffold degrades. And so since our bioactive glass is made of all these natural, at least natural to the body elements, those also play a role. Uh, they create this environment that is conducive to angiogenesis. It's also a benefit in that we aren't collagen, right? It's probably one of the weirdest things that why are you using bioactive glass? How about the fact that we're not using tissue? By nature of that, we're not using a collagen-based product. Mm -hmm. That means that our scaffold can't be colonized in quite the same way. That has other advantages in terms of reducing the risk of infection or becoming contaminated. But certainly, we've seen that a lot in the cellular tissues yeah. spaces, and that's the market that you're in. Um, you know, I don't think of Miragen as a typical cellular tissue product in the sense like it's not a xenograft mm -hmm. and, um, you know, if you've never touched or felt Miragen, it certainly has a different texture to it as well. So, Would you like to try it, by the well, way? Well, I've actually, used it. I've never used Frank's it. Frank's never seen yeah. it before. I've been I've skater used glass. It All, right. Before. <laughs> All right, this is not quite cutting your fingers on something. This is a very particular bioactive glass. You gotta open okay. It. Can you open it? You good? It's childproof. <laughs> <laughs> At least Frank proof. <laughs> Lizzie figured it out. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Well, I've never used it. I've been afraid of glass. <laughs> so you can see wow. how easy it's it is light. to use. Yeah. It feels like fiberglass. I always say <laughs> cotton candy. Fiberglass. Yeah, cotton candy. Cotton candy. Yeah. So without the respiratory issues of right. fiberglass. Yeah, no yeah. respiratory issues. I like but. it. And if kind of gets down to a powder. Well, and think about how easy that is to use because it's scaffold-like and a powder. A lot of different modalities have to have different skews for a sheet or a powder or a fenestrated sheet or a mesh sheet. You can customize your application so that ability to break it apart, put it into a tunneling wound, makes a really big difference. One product can do a lot for you. One form factor can do a lot for you with Miragen. And if I could add to that, in my clinical practice, it was really great that we could apply it to posterior leg wounds because it doesn't slide off. It doesn't. It sticks to the surface of the wound and it adheres to it and you can kind of build it up or build it down. You can scatter it across the surface. So it's really nice that it's almost customizable yeah. inherently because you can kind of break it apart. Yeah. So <clears throat> tunneling. You know, usually we're afraid of putting anything in a tunnel because it may have residue. Sure. So tell me, how, how does it, I mean, have you used it for that? Oh, I've used it for tunneling and undermining. Sure, you can put it deep into those areas. And because it's creating that scaffold and then the body uses it, you're not retrieving it out. It's not like when I use negative pressure and I'm counting the pieces that I have to get out of that area, that I have to worry about it. And then some of the things that they've talked about in terms of the mechanism of action, mm -hmm. how it can really kind of close down those areas and, and really make a game changer in what that wound base was. Yeah. Completely biodegradable, so there's no, to your point, go fishing afterwards. The last thing you want is to create a nidus for bacteria, completely absorbs, and so it's fantastic for those crevices. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Usually when I go fishing, I don't catch anything. So, <laughs> so I like this already. Neither do we in terms of uh, microbial content. Yeah. So it's perfect. Yeah. So, so let's bring it back to a synopsis. <clears throat> now we have a very busy uh, skin cellular tissue product market. How, how does this differentiate <clears throat> in a brief summary yeah. from the other product? Well, I think there are a couple things. We already talked about we don't have the same traditional risk of infection because we're not collagen-based. It's not yeah. tissue-based despite being a true CTP from a skin substitute standpoint or a reimbursement standpoint. That ease of use makes a really big difference too. But the thing that we didn't talk about is the fact that we do form this quality 
tissue. And so whether that's granulation or re-epithelialization, that's pretty rare, the ability to both fill and close a wound. Usually you have these CTPs that are in one camp or another, mm -hmm. pun intended on the camp. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's nice to be able to use something that does both. Mm -hmm. And that offers, frankly, a lot of hope. For, yeah. for patients. Some frankly. Has, I see. Yeah. <laughs> well, today. I, did, I did not do that one on purpose. <laughs> but I think it's really important to have novel modalities. There are a lot of skin subs out there, but if you have something with unique mechanisms of action like what we discussed, that offers hope, even for patients who haven't healed using other skin substitutes. That's been by far the most rewarding thing on this job, is being able to see patients heal who have failed other modalities. It is an amazing thing to bring hope to people, both providers and their patients. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned healing. So of course, anytime we have a product, we we particularly are like, where's the evidence? You know, where's the data Great question. behind it? And so that, I think the two driving things in my clinical practice have been evidence and cost. As it should be. So I think those are the two things we also need to check on. I'm, I'm proud at ETS. We've embraced evidence-based medicine early. So we, we've already completed one RCT on diabetic foot ulcers. Uh, with a patient population of 40, showing statistically significant results in terms of both wound closure and then percentage area reduction between us and the standard of care. I'm even more proud of the fact that we're close to, is it maybe a teaser for another show? Ooh. We're close to a second RCT uh, near completion with a much larger patient population, more than 100 patients. Maybe we'll do that in the spring. That we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be talking about that a lot more. We, we're wait. really excited about the early results. <laughs> I can't wait. And you know, <clears throat> I like this because I like the product <laughs> that started in another area, in the yeah. orthopedic bones. I mean, that's phenomenal. And so now in the wound care, I can't wait to try it. I'm not afraid of glass anymore. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> but I want you to tell us now, as we're wrapping things up, what's a key word that you can tell healthcare providers why they should use Mirogen as part of the toolkit? Yeah, so we, we talked about hope. If other things have not worked in the past, Mirogen still has an opportunity to work to help patients. That, that's one key reason. The second is the robustness of the product, being able to form both granulation and epithelium. That's pretty unique. And then I'd say last is just the ease of use. You mentioned right here, it's really easy to use in tunnels. Well, let's face it, ease of use matters and it's not just in terms of putting it in different wound depths or topographies. It's also the preparation work. We didn't talk about the fact that there's no preparation required and not a lot of post work either. So that takes a lot of time out of the equation applying a skin substitute like this. I like glass. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I kept it in my pocket. And if I found a wound that I identified, it was right there and pull it out and you're done just like you're dressing a wound. So it was really great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much to both of our guests, um, but we appreciate you coming on and sharing the science and kind of the logistics around this Mirogen, which is really important to our audience. Um, I just want to say to all of our audience to be sure to like, follow, subscribe so that we can continue to give those updates for the sneak peek teaser for uh, the spring release of your right. RCT. Thank right. you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Yeah.